Welcome to part 4 of the introduction to Python for Lightwave. I've spent a lot of time in the C, C++ SDK comparing notes with it to Python and came to this conclusion. This thing reads like stereo instructions. So we're going to use the principle of taking a problem and dividing it into smaller pieces until we can start solving. Let's take the example Python plugin provided, maketest.py, and treat it like the article part 1, Plugin Basics, from the C, C++ SDK. First, let's remove parts of the maketest.py plugin and look only at the lines of code that create a box. We define a method called process, which processes modeler commands. The process method is a subset of the I command sequence class. Let's take a look at the syntax for this method. In the pcore console, type From the console output, we can see that the process method takes two arguments, self and the lightwave mod command argument. It then returns an integer value. OK, great. But what's this lightwave mod command? In the pcore console, type We have a lot of methods defined for this class, but the one we're interested in is execute. The execute method takes five arguments, self, data, lightwave command code, a pi object defined as dyna values, and the type of selection to perform the execution. It then returns a pi object. Let's take this apart piece by piece, starting with the first argument we supply, data. The C, C++ SDK says this about data. An opaque pointer to data used internally by modeler. Pass this as the first argument to the lookup, execute, and evaluate functions. Right. We are using the execute method, and data is the first argument we can supply to it. We do that with the dot data method of our variable that we supplied to the process method when we began. The next argument is lightwave command code. We use the lookup method to find the command. This part is a bit confusing. Here I'll show you. If we get help on the lookup command, we find the first argument we supply is void arg1. But what is arg1? If you remember when we looked up the definition of data, it said this was the first argument we supply to lookup, execute, and evaluate functions. Ah, okay, so that means arg1 is lwmodcommand.data. This is the data that modeler keeps track of for us. The last argument for lookup is character command name. This is simply a string of the modeler command. Where do we get this modeler command? At the moment, we need to look in the C, C++ SDK in the section on modeler commands. For this code, we want make box. Note this string is not case sensitive. How do we know it's not case sensitive? The C, C++ SDK tells us at the very beginning of the section on modeler commands. Modeler commands are not case sensitive. Swell. Also looking on this page, we see what Lightwave wants when using the makebox command. The makebox command takes two required arguments, the coordinates of the low and high corners, and one optional argument the number of segments along each axis. These three arguments are vectors and are delimited in Python with lists. Lists in Python are mutable and noted by square brackets. These arguments needed by the makebox command happen to be the dyna values we need as the next arguments for our execute method. So how do we use dyna values? This part is also a bit confusing, but we can locate the information. Remember in our last session we discussed the Lightwave SDK and the pcore Python libraries? We'll be referencing those a lot as we write plugins. Those two files are compiled Python files and in order to view them we can get help on them with the pcore console. I've done this for each of the files and saved the console output for reference. Searching the text of Lightwave SDK I find nothing helpful. OK, search narrowed. Searching the text of pcore, I find some useful bits. 
but the part we want is near the end of the document. OK, great. Now we have part of the syntax we need. Here's the confusing part. We found this syntax in the pcore file, but we call the Dyna values as part of the LightWave SDK. Next, we need to supply the values list. Remember, Makebox has two required arguments and one optional, and putting it together, we get this. Here we have given simple values for the low and high corners, and use the Python object none to pass no value for the optional argument. Passing none returns a default value of 1 for the segment value. What's interesting to note is that the segment values have to be specified as floats even though the values are basically read as an integer. If you specify integer values for the segment it will generate an exception and not execute the code at all. The segment values are also a vector as you can specify different values along x, y, and z axes. The last argument we supply to the execute method is on what type of selection. ELT opselect. From the C, C++ SDK we have four options. Let's use opsel user. As you can see it's a long string of code but we can shorten it a bit by using variables which is how our originally supplied code was written. I thought it would be helpful, however, to see this laid out straight without any shortcuts. I hope this is helpful, and if you have any questions, I'll help where I can. Take care.